Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and with the season officially over, we have to go through the prize money for the year because we have some names that played a lot of tennis. We have some names that didn't play that much tennis that are actually on this list. Let's go through the top five of the prize money winners for this year. So Casper Ruud comes in at number five at $6.9 million. He of course made two Grand Slam finals at the French Open and at the US Open. He also made the Miami final during the year, won a couple of titles as well. And of course the ATP finals final as well. So he's number five on the list. Coming in at number four is Rafa Nadal at $7.4 million, which is kind of low, I think, because he did win two Grand Slams. Of course he won the Australian Open, French Open, to start the year and he also made the semi-finals of Wimbledon but because he didn't play that much since Wimbledon he didn't make up that much prize money towards the end of the year especially at tournaments before the US Open and also after the US Open where he didn't really play so still 7.4 million in prize money but maybe a little bit less than we expect coming in number three was Carlos Alcaraz the world number one of course won the US Open he comes in at $7.6 million, just ahead of Rafa, and had a phenomenal season. I mean, he won a bunch of titles as well, including Miami, Madrid as well. And unfortunately, couldn't play at the A to B finals, but that US Open victory got him a big chunk of cash, and he's third on the list for 2022. Coming in at number two now is Iga Sviantek at $9.8 million. Of course, she had a ridiculous season, a record-breaking season, going on a massive winning streak, winning a couple of Grand Slams as well at the French Open and the US Open. Also made the semifinals of the Australian Open, which I think a lot of people forget at the start of the year. Won a bunch of titles as well throughout the year. And interestingly enough, is the only female on this list and was just beaten by the number one person on this list. So let's talk about the number one on this list. I think it's no surprise. It's Novak Djokovic coming in at $9.9 .9 million. Only about $50,000 ahead of Sviantek. And of course, Nole finished the season off with a bang. He won, he won three of the four tournaments that he played. He lost in the Paris final. He, of course, won Wimbledon as well, which is a big payday. Also won Rome on the clay as well. So... He just beats out Sviantek, which is a shame because Sviantek would have been the first female in 20 years to top the prize money list had she had just got an extra 50000 or maybe had Djokovic not won at the ATP Finals. So there it is, the prize money list for 2022. Are you surprised with anybody on this list? Are you surprised that Djokovic is number one? I'm a little shocked that Djokovic is maybe number one considering he didn't play that much, but then again... Every time he played, he did win, so it does make sense, I guess, in the end. But let me know down in the comments below. Are you surprised that someone's not on this list? Maybe you think that maybe Ons Jabur should be on this list for the ladies, maybe ahead of Kasper Ruud, because she also made a couple of Grand Slam finals. Or do you think someone like a Nick Kyrgios, who barely played, but when he did play, he also got to the later part of tournaments. You think he should be on this list somewhere, or maybe even a doubles player, because we don't have any doubles players on this list. So there's the top five prize money winners for the year. Let me know if you're surprised by anybody.